Hey Computer Tech 251 fans, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, we're exploring something new, just came out yesterday, Windows 10. Yes, Windows 10. Uh, if you have Windows 8.1 Pro or Windows 7, you will get a free upgrade to Windows 10. Now, this is a first look into Windows 10. Uh, we will discuss a few tips few new things around about it and see the new features Windows 10 is way better than Windows 8 you have got if you have got a lot of new improvements Microsoft Microsoft just kicked it off with this new Windows now let's talk about one of the best new things in Windows 10 whether you are a Windows uh, whether you are a tradition Windows user or Windows 8 user, Windows 10 got you covered with the new start menu. Where you got a combination of Windows 8, as we can see, and a little bit of Windows, of additional Windows. Now, we'll, now you can expand this and make it uh, just like Windows 8, Windows 8, as you can see. Or you could even remove everything from here, unpin all your apps, and you'll get back to a traditional Windows. It's all up to you. If you're an Apple user or any of the smartphone, new smartphone users and have this intelligence person that talks back to you like Siri, I think you'll be happy with the new feature Windows 10 have, which is Cortana. Cortana is just like Siri. It talks back to you. Uh, it has many other features. Um, it can do things for you. You could ask her to do. You could ask her him to do stuff for you. You could read your emails from there. You could serve the web using her. Do whatever you like. If you're tired of using Windows Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox. Windows 10 have got something new for you. Microsoft Edge browser. It's the new ultimate browser. It's very good browser. It renders really quick. Um, it was built from ground up. Microsoft finally have launched the virtual desktop. If you are a Linux user, Mac user, you would know this. Uh, you would know this feature. Which means you could, for example, I have Microsoft Edge opened here and I am on Gmail. I could open another desktop and use it for a totally different thing. To do that, all you need to do is press Control, Windows button, and D that brings up a new desktop and as you can see I have nothing opened here okay there you go uh, you could move around by pressing control windows key and the left arrow or right arrow to move between your screens okay to close the screen all what you do is control window key F4 that's all what you need to do this is a great new feature Windows have offered. Notification Center. With Notification Center, there, will, there is no more those warning messages, those ugly messages that, that keep popping up. With the Action Center, Notification Center will clear all that mess and you will have access to all of the warnings and anything you need to do to do right from it as you can see I have malware detected now I don't need to get a, a pop-up message I have it in my action center now I could just click on it and deal with it unified settings these the old control panel the traditional control panel still exists you still can do a lot from it however Windows have added a new settings panel where you could personalize more things in a different way and it's quite convenient now the only problem with this that the downside with this is that if you want to do something you will have to go and check in both settings for you to find whatever you're looking for now this is a downside but it's not as good it's not as bad as the good side Wi-Fi sense Microsoft have finally decided to add new feature to allow you control your Wi-Fi even further Wi-Fi sense it's a new service new feature that allows you to share your 
network or your internet with the friends, family members or anybody else without giving them your password. As long as those people are in your Outlook, Facebook or your mail contacts, you will automatically they will automatically be logged into your Wi-Fi connection once they are in the range. Now Microsoft do this by taking your network password, encrypting it in one of their databases and sharing it with others without them knowing your own password. So in this case you don't have to give out your password to everybody. Now as good as this feature, it still has a downside. Yes, Wi-Fi is in school, you don't have to give out your password, not everybody has to know what your password is. But it has a downside at the same time. You cannot assign this feature to individual people on your contacts. It's either everybody or none of them. Why is this a bad thing? Well, if you have stalkers on your Facebook account, the second thing you know is they are looking, taking out your naked picture from your computer. Yeah, it happens. But for them to do that, they will have to be sitting outside your house for quite some time. Now, this will wrap it up for today. I hope you guys enjoy Windows 10 new features. Um, please, I would like to know your own comment about this, your own opinion. So please leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and do all that kind of cool stuff. And stay tuned for the next videos.